and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and thanks for joining me again. I have a die set from Tonic Studios that I want to share with you today and this one is called the Jardiniere gift box die set and as you can see from the packaging here it makes a tall narrow gift box and there are different ways of decorating that so I'll just have a little look at the dies first of all and then we'll get started to make it. So these are the dies and this one is the one that you'll use to make the actual gift box and you'll need to cut that out twice. So before we go any further I'd just like you to notice that you will see on the back of this that there are instructions. Um, they don't give you the full instructions for the box I, I've noticed but they give you the, bas the basics there and then you can use your imagination and carry on or follow what I'm doing here and you'll see how that goes. So first of all you need to cut out two of those and join them together and then it shows you how to do the tabs. But as you can see here we've got lots of other dies. So this one is the outer edge die and that will cut out this shape that fits onto the panel in here. And then there are two decorative dies for that and one is a peacock feather and the other is a daffodil. And you can see those on this box here. There's the peacock feather and there's the daffodil cut out in gold. Now there are other ways of using this as well. You can leave that plain or you can use different colours. You could paper piece or whatever or you could just use the die cut as it is. But I'll go ahead and make the basic box first and then come back and show you all these little dies and how they're used. So first of all I've taken this large die and I've cut it out twice in, whoops, in pistachio green card and I'm going to join that just at this centre part at the bottom but first of all I have reinforced all those score lines. Now you will notice that this one isn't actually straight so the best way to get that without folding it in places where it shouldn't be folded is to just grab a little piece at a time with your finger and thumb and follow that curve around and that will give you a very good uh, fold on there and you can do that to the other side as well and right down there and that will give you this really good curve up at the top but don't try to just set it down flat and, and do that with a bone folder because it, it isn't a straight line. So now we will join these two together by putting some glue in the centre there and I've got my trusty Nuvo adhesive um, Nuvo Deluxe adhesive for this. You could use red liner tape if you wanted but I keep this handy. I always take the little gem off the top of that so that it stands upright on its lid like that and then the glue is always ready to go. Just a little tip. <laughs> so easily put together that that is the basis of the box itself so what you want to do now is just take these two tabs hold them together and put that piece in there and it comes up through there and that's the basis for the way the box is finished but before I go ahead and do that I want to add some decorative pieces onto it first of all and I think it's probably better to do that while the box has not been um, assembled fully. So I have taken this die and this die and I've used them together. So I've cut this one out first of all and I've used some beautiful gold card. It's called um, Inca Gold and you can see the lovely reflection on the back there. It's actually an iridescent mirror card it's really really beautiful and I thought it looked really nice with that daffodil there. So I have cut that with this shape and then I have used this one and this one together with the white and glued the white on top of that and I've done that twice and I need to go ahead and glue those onto these panels here. So you'll see now when those panels are done and you add this tab in here that there's a little gap at each side and you could just put acetate in there or leave that the way it is but there is a die in fact there are two dies here so there's a, a plain one and then there's also the one with a little uh, trellis edge on it which matches this one really really well and you can die cut those and add them over the top or in behind 
So what I've done is I've taken this one in the Inca Gold and then I've used this one in white and I've layered them one on top of the other. I was going to add that on top there but what I think I prefer is to add it on in here and then you'll see that through there. So I'll go ahead and I've got two of those cut and ready and I'll glue those on. I can take these two dies and I've cut them out in white and I'm going to add them on here. Now there are actually dies to match the back of these the same way that there was on, the, on this one and you can add the gold in behind that or whatever colour you're using but I've decided that I've got enough of that gold. It's it's absolutely beautiful but it's very very blingy so um, I'm just going to add the plain white on here and I'll go ahead and glue the four of those in place. Before I go ahead and make the lid I want to just finish off these little bits and you can see when you turn this back that it's the inside of the paper showing or of the card. So I've taken this little die and I've cut it out twice in the Inca gold again and I'm going to put that on there and then when that tucks inside this little gap is open and I have cut this out in the, this little die in white and then with the backing plate in the Inca gold again so I'm going to glue that on there and this on here, on both sides. If you're going to use the box without a lid, all you need to do now is tuck these bits down in behind here and that's it finished. So on the instructions it tells you to cut out this die more than twice, at least more than once but two or three times depending on the weight of your paper or your card to give a little stability to the, the lid of the box. So I've actually cut it out in white and gold. I've cut it out uh, four times but I'm sure I'll not need that. I'll just use it twice. And this will be the inside so I'm turning that around and this then will be the top. But I've also cut this piece, I don't think I need two of those. Uh, I've cut it, this is how it will look if it's plain and you want to put something else on top and just add this on here. But I went ahead then and I used this one with the little daffodil in and I cut that into the centre. So it would look like this first and then I've cut that into the centre and that has given me this piece. And I'm going to put that on top there and then that will be my little lid and I'll go ahead and glue those together. That's it finished and I think that looks really beautiful. That Inca gold is really lovely with that daffodil in behind and it's just enough the whole way around it to be sort of hidden in the background but shining through and that little lid is just perfect on the top of that so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. There are also another uh, die set that was released at the same time. It's coming out at the same time and this is called the Happy Hamper. That's one of my samples there for that. And I'll put a link down below in the description and show you where to find that one as well if you like that. There are two similarly uh, finished die sets at the top in the, in the sense that the handles and the sides go together like this and they open up. But they're totally different shapes and as you can see, totally different sizes as well. So, if you've enjoyed that, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done that and hit the notification bell so that you'll know that when the next videos come up. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. I will add my affiliate links to anything I've used down below in the description there as well. And thank you very much to anyone who uses those because 
as you know I do get a little commission from that but it doesn't cost you any more and I do appreciate that so thanks once again and I hope to see you again very soon bye bye Thank you.